So I've been on kind of a trap building kick for some reason. I don't know why, but um, recently I made this little deal. It's a traditional rabbit gum with a teeter-totter pan. A traditional little single-door wooden rabbit trap here. And I thought, mm, can I make a, a two-door one? So this is kind of what I came up with. I think I saw a picture of a double door somewhere. I can't remember. But somebody was selling one and they wanted like $130 for them. I was like, I can make it better than that. So, it came out pretty good. The only problem is the boards were bent. These are one by eights I got for next to nothing. So, uh, they were bent and they're chipped. But, for a first one, I think it came out good. As you see, it is a two-door with a center pan on there. Everything is internal. No external stuff. I know some of them... Some of these traps have these big old pulley systems and stuff. I like this. Everything's internal. The uh, top latches, it's, and it's hinged. So it's got some 550 cord and some screws for a handle. There we go. And as you see, everything... I'm not the best carpenter and these uh, bent boards aren't helping, but it's just how it works. You got a, got a rod. Again, this is a lot like a Washington trigger. I use this Washington trigger a lot, but you got a bar running through there. These are eye bolts. Little eye bolts running through here. That pan teeter-totters. I just have like a nail I cut off. It keeps right there. Goes under. Animal comes through, he steps on either side of this, it makes this move either way, which kicks it from under this, which lets, lets the doors drop, so let me see if I can, ta-da, and these are colony doors, so, you know, the more he fights against it, the more, um, the more he can't get out, um, I've seen other ones where they put a nail through here, so the nail drops in, so something can't come in and get it, but, um, I don't know, this is just one I made just real quick, but yeah, that's what we got here. Figured, uh, some of y'all might be interested in it. So, I went from that to this, and I think when I can finally get lumber cheap enough, I'm going to build some armadillo traps like this. Um, I'm not sure, I think I want to put a, wi a, wi a wire trigger in one of these, like a conibear, bear, but I'm not 100%. But yeah, just want to show y'all my little... It's not my invention, but, you know, just one of my little creations here.